I want to introduce you to these two guys. I don't think you can see, it's very hard. I've just learned that I can't flip the camera around if I'm not doing a live, so this is rather frustrating. So I'm gonna try and show you, there we are. I've got two doggies here. So these are Irish Wolfhounds. So if you're not familiar with the breed, they are huge, huge, ginormous doggies. And we have this one over here. This is Dylan. And this is Paddy. So Paddy is the older boy. He's seven and a half. This one is 15 months. He's just a baby. This one is a real daddy's boy. And this one is very cheeky. So I'm doing a canvas. And if you can see, it's a long, narrow canvas. Um, and because I have two um, heads to paint on the one canvas, what I've done is I've actually gone in. Now, this is going to be the tricky part, so bear with me. I don't know if you can see very, very faint line. I don't know if I'm showing you a blank canvas, um, but it isn't blank. It's got um, a pencil drawing on it, but the pencil that I've put on is minimal. I've only done um, just enough information so that I can place the two heads so that I'm happy that the composition is comfortable within the canvas that they're sharing the space but I'm happy that it's sitting well before I actually go in and commit to to painting in oil um, this is a confidence thing so I, and I think it might also be slightly habitual um, I tend to like to do a pencil line first but then ironically when I now go in to do um, the oil I will probably rub quite a lot of the pencil away but it just tells me that I've got the two heads where I want them to be they've both got the space that they need and that I can then start going in with with the oil but I will basically draw again with paint but the paint that I will use will be very very thin so I'll put a lot of um, white spirits with the oil and it will basically be a wash so then I still have that same freedom of being able to erase it I can literally rub it with a cloth and I can add more white spirits and I can take it out so it's not the same conventional way as obviously having a pencil and an eraser it's not quite as efficient as that and those marks um, you don't they don't disappear completely but you can still take them out so that would be part two when um, hopefully I can get the camera set up so I can show you how it's done okay just to um, get you going make sure that you're inspired and hopefully um, you're doing something creative as well today um, it's so important to practice these skills so I'll come back to you and you can see more of Paddy and Dylan okay thanks for watching guys bye